Harness cloud cost management allows teams such as engineering, infrastructure, and FinOps to work collaboratively in achieving transparency around their cloud spend, governance of their cloud assets, and most importantly, optimization of their cloud resources and associated costs. The first step in taking advantage of the power of Harness Cloud Cost Management is to connect to your cloud accounts. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to connect Harness to AWS. From the Harness user interface, select Cloud Costs, which will put you into the overview page. If this is your first time setting up Harness Cloud Cost Management, you'll see this welcome screen. We can start our configuration by selecting New Cluster Cloud Account. As you can see, Harness supports all three major cloud providers, AWS, GCP, and Azure, as well as deep capabilities within Kubernetes environments. To continue connecting Harness to AWS, we'll select the AWS tile, which brings up the AWS connector wizard. In AWS, many enterprises have a single management account which consolidates all billing as well as a number of member or linked accounts. We'll start off by configuring our management account in Harness. Specify any name that will help you identify this connector and then the account ID of the AWS account that we want to connect to. The cost and usage reports page guides us on how to set up the AWS cost and usage report, which allows Harness to retrieve detailed billing information from your AWS account. Launch the AWS console to create and configure your report. You can also go directly to the Harness documentation, which describes the correct settings for your report. We'll walk through that configuration now. Start by clicking on Create Report. Provide a name of your choice for the report name and make sure Include Resource IDs is selected before moving on to the next configuration page. Now we'll create a new S3 bucket, which will be the destination for our report and apply a default policy to that bucket. For the S3 path prefix, provide any prefix name. The prefix is not relevant to the integration, so we will not reference it again. Make sure to select overwrite existing report before selecting next to review your configuration and create your report. The two important pieces of information we need to remember as we continue our configuration are the S3 bucket name and the report name. Back in Harness, we'll fill in those two values and continue. On the Choose Requirements page, we'll select the capabilities that we want to enable for this AWS account. Generally, this would be done for member accounts as opposed to the management account that we're currently configuring. But for demonstration purposes, we'll select all of these capabilities. On the Create Cross Account Role page, we'll click on the button to launch a cloud formation template in AWS. This template will configure the appropriate roles and permissions needed as part of this integration. Note that the parameters are pre-configured based on your configurations made up to this point in the connector. Click on the acknowledgement and then click on Create Stack to execute. Once the execution is complete, go to the Outputs tab to copy the Cross Account Role ARN. In Harness, we'll paste that value and click Save and Continue. At this point, Harness will attempt to connect and validate permissions. If you just created a brand new cost and usage report, as we did, one thing it will note is that it can't find a report. That's because it could take up to 24 hours for the first report to be delivered. So as long as there are no other issues reported, we can safely finish. At this point, you can add additional member accounts. Note that once you have a connector configured with the cost and usage report, additional connectors can be created without having to specify the report again.
Once you've finished configuring this connector similar to our first one, you're ready to use Harness Cloud Cost Management. While it may take up to 24 hours to retrieve billing data, you'll be able to take advantage of powerful capabilities such as intelligent auto-stopping and cloud asset governance immediately.